this is the boat doctor. Fishing is hot. Uh, the old Umqua, and, oh, I forgot the name of the real nice guy, the fishing guide over there. Uh, he was here about five o'clock, I think. He's already pulling out six good fish, salmon, Chinook. Uh, they're really hot today. I've talked to uh, several people. They all either got one or uh, more and uh, probably had four uh, hits. So the fishing's starting and it's hot. And actually, it's anywhere from right here, down there, uh, past uh, the Mill Casino, towards the east side, and especially down by the Ford plant. But that's a really hot spot on the, I don't have no depth finder in here, but that's where I've been spotting. This guy's fishing right over here. So anyway, uh, I went through a lot of these switches, built pump, okay, bay tank, tuna tube you don't have, deck wash. See your bait tanks working. Right here. Worst down works. I'm gonna pull in the bumper. Yep, that damn wind is gonna come up. Believe it or not. This is how it's been, real quiet. And I'll pull up this other bumper. That's the nice thing about a walk around. You can just get up in here and throw all this stuff in. And we put a plug in there because if you don't, if you don't have radar, and I'd highly recommend Garmin with me. And uh, so when you get radar, your wires go through there, but if you don't have no radar, the water would just run through that. So I'd just get me a good uh, 8610, 8616 XSV Garmin. And hey, I don't get no money off of it. It's pushing Garmin. I just think it's a better unit, just like this boat. I like this boat. 2225, awesome. Little boats, 15 is good. Um, so, I don't know, make anything off the YouTube. I just do it for the customers. So, it ain't like I'm getting rich. It's just, I want to make sure the customer gets the right boat. So, anyway, just turn the key, fuel injected, fires right up. Turn this off, turn that deck wash off, put in gear, wait for your CL5 to come up. We can turn on the stereo, and if you go Garmin, you can link it real quick, NEMA 2000, right to your MFD, and have your media bar set up. So you can turn on your stereo, switch the channels, your inputs, your iPad, Bluetooth, and then you're on manual. So you just rip through here. Oh, I'm going to hear the news, Dan Bongino. So I'm just going to hold my finger until I get to 101. Ah, I wonder if they got the FM antenna hooked up. X out. So I'm going to go to manual or automatic. Hit this. Hit this. Nope. They evidently don't. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, they have no FM wire hooked up to this. Okay, so I had to make my notes. So then you got your available gallons, 60, which I put in here, economy, flow. And then if you ever want to see like how much you used, here's your fuel gauge, but you can always just tap this and hold it and then go to fuel. And uh, you go remaining fuel, 60. So tap it again, go to fuel remaining fuel fuel consumption and that would tell me how many you used how many gallons so if you ever want to see what you have on board you just hit here hit fuel hit remaining fuel and that's available gallons so I kind of sometimes will go on here fuel fuel consumption I want to know how much I use so I'd put it on here here's your tag and here's your trim 
Now I'm going to speed it up. Here's what I do when I'm running them out. I just get it up, just go like this for a few minutes. That nice boat, very nice boat. Get it going a little bit faster. You're going to have a small vibration see right there. See them shaking. I'll bring this thing back. See how you get no vibration there? Most of them are six to a thousand. See, there's 800, I'm not getting it, and every boat's different. Some can be at 3,000, some can be at 6,000. So 15, I'm not getting it, but this is a stainless prop, so they're going to have more vibration. So right about 23. Now, so that ain't going to interfere with any of your trolling, because right about here would be roughly tuna speed, no vibration, salmon, no vibration. So 24 into about 27, there are 29, you get rid of it. So 3,000, like I said, you go with aluminum and you'll probably get rid of 50% of that. Then I give it a little bit more gas. We're doing 25, uh, 3.1 gallons, eight miles to the gallon at 28 miles an hour. That's do about 29. There's 29, I'm going to trim it up, right here, get the bow up, 3.3 miles per gallon, 9.1 gallons per hour, that's awesome. A lot of boats that say 29, you're getting about 14 gallons, is what you're burning. Now a cruising speed would be right about... Right here, 35, you're only burning the 13.3, those boats would be about 28. And it's only 2, and you're doing 2.7 miles to the gallon. Now full throttle. 5,900. Comes right through that stuff. The arrow design, I'm going to spin the wheel. Now watch this thing go in a circle. A tight circle now going to reverse. Now, this is reverse, you'll notice. No water over the back. Look at that backing up. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna now to take off again. Look how fast this thing turns. So now I'm gonna see how fast it'll go this way. doesn't do a heck, heck of a lot for you. I mean, it would if you were, you know, loaded up, but it does about the same speed. Uh, 
that leads during. Okay, and the steering needs to be bled too. Okay, this is the boat dog, beautiful boat, 2023. Bring it up to about 28, that vibration will quit, unless you go to aluminum. Then you probably wouldn't get as much. I like it. Probably the best all-around boat for lake, river, bay, ocean, you got it.